Well, the upcoming Captain America sequel, New World Order, is just getting more and more packed. And earlier today, we got a report about a classic Captain America group of villains that apparently will make their first appearance in the upcoming film. Let's take a minute to talk about the Serpent Society. Well, earlier today, a new report suggested that Captain America New World Order will indeed feature an appearance from the villain team known as the Serpent Society. Now, these guys have been in the comics for quite a long time, making their first appearance in Captain America 310 way back in 1985 and were created by Mark Grunewald and Paul Neary. Now, in the comics, they came together to take on the likes of the Fantastic Four and in the Avengers, but in the MCU, it appears they have been brought together as a rebirth of a classic Marvel Cinematic Universe villain we haven't seen for quite a long time. That would be Hydra. Now, all of this comes via Jeff Snyder on the Hot Mike Podcast. So, like we always like to say, take it with a grain of salt. If it's not from Marvel Studios, it's not official. But this guy has been lighting fires and, quite honestly, hitting home runs. Now, according to him, Julia Louise Dreyfus's character, known as Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, will indeed be bringing the Serpent Society to life in the MCU. Now, this ties into a lot of other rumors and reports, and apparently, at least according to Jeff, this will tie directly to recovering some metal that's just as powerful as vibranium. Now, not only this, he claims he have heard that the metal in question will be connected directly to the X-Men franchise. So, we all know this means adamantium, and does make you wonder what other adamantium-oriented characters could actually make their appearance in this movie. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard about the Serpent Society being the villain. If you remember correctly, during the Phase 3 announcement, Kevin Feige announced that as the title for the third Captain America movie. But as part of the presentation, they actually swapped it around, and that actually ended up being Civil War. Now, whether they match up to the comics group, we're going to have to wait and see. All these villains in this group were all snake-themed, such as Sidewinder, Cottonmouth, and Diamondback. But I have a sneaking suspicion Marvel Studios is going to put a very unique spin on this. Now, interestingly, Val does have her origin tied to the Serpent Society. And in the comics, she has been known as Madame Hydra, who was indeed responsible for bringing together a team called the Serpent Squad. Now, if you remember correctly, Val is head of the CIA. So we're trying to figure out if this means the Serpent Society will actually be working for the U.S. government or some rogue faction of the U.S. government, bringing them, I'm sure, head to head with Captain America. Now, we don't have any confirmations of this, like we said, but we have long suspected the Serpent Society would be a big part of this. I do think they are the perfect villain for Sam Wilson. Now, whether this means the emergence of a new Hydra with a Madam Hydra at the head of the CIA, well, that makes for a great Captain America plot, and this could be how it's all tied together. There is no villain bigger to face off against Captain America than Hydra, and bringing them back to life for Phase 5 in this new Captain America world would be particularly awesome. There are some great Captain America stories that do involve the returning of Steve Rogers that Hydra and the Red Skull are integral to, so I think we might be in store for some interesting Marvel storytelling with Hydra front and center once again. Remember their motto, cut off one head, two grow back. Now, how Harrison Ford's Red Hulk and some of the other reports that he dropped on this Hot Mike podcast fit into the equation, I don't know yet. We're going to do some follow-up talk about that Red Hulk report, so stay tuned and we'll break it all down. 